What's going on guys? I'm Brian and today we are going to take a look at the performance of the RX 5600 XT with both the Ryzen 5 1600 AF and the Ryzen 5 3600. And yes, this is the actual Ryzen 5 3600 this time. I went out and got one for a build that I'm going to be doing for you guys in a few weeks as well as for these comparison videos. As always, everything I talk about today will be in the description box below. And with that said, let's get started. All right, so the test bench has the MSI B450 Tomahawk Max motherboard, a 16 gigabyte kit of 3200 megahertz speed, cast 16 memory, um, a Hyper 212 black edition to cool the CPU, and then I also have the Sapphire Pulse RX 5600 XT. Now, as for the testing, the Ryzen 5 1600 AF was set at stock as well as overclocked to four gigahertz. The 3600, on the other hand, was only ran at stock speeds, and this is because, you know, 3600 overclocking it doesn't really boost the performance of it all that much. And in all scenarios, the RX 5600 600 XT was tested at stock as well as with a very, very slight overclock. I will tell you right now that due to the limitations um, in the actual drivers for the RX 5600 XT, there's not really any reason to be overclocking it in my opinion. I tested seven games using high or max settings at 1080p as well as 1440p. And then I will also have, as I typically do, um, have specifics in each chart for you guys. And with all of that out of the way, here are the results. that's that. As you just witnessed, there's not much difference when using the RX 5600 XT with the 1600 AF and the um, Ryzen 5 3600. There are two big things that I noticed during this comparison. The first one is going to be that the 3600 does tend to have higher um, 1% and 0.1% lows. And I think this is kind of expected. And I think most of you guys probably expected that as well, because the 3600 is the better CPU. And of course, with those 1% and 0.1% lows being higher, the gaming experience is going to be a little bit smoother. Is this actually worth the premium that you'll pay to get this? Well, that's going to be really up to you guys to decide. Secondly, as I mentioned earlier, the Sapphire Pulse RX 5600 XT has basically no business being overclocked. Yes, it only takes a second to do this, but then you end up sacrificing, you know, temperatures. So your temperatures will definitely be a little bit higher if you do this. And you basically get literally almost no performance gain out of overclocking it. I'd say don't waste your time if you end up picking up the same exact one I have, which is the Sapphire Pulse version. If there are any other CPU slash GPU combinations you guys would like to see face off, let me know in the comments below. I am slowly 
very slowly, but I am gathering as much components, as many components as I can to do testing for you guys. So um, as time goes on, I'll keep trying to pick up more parts so I can keep doing comparison tests. Also, if you guys found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more tech content just like this. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys later.